so here we are with Alex Lloyd in the Garner car uh, after his 6 2 6 1 victory over uh, Griffin McCullough. So, what are now that we're away from McCullough being near you, what are your actual thoughts on the match? Um, well. Really, I knew coming in that if I just played consistent, he would miss it, so. Uh, yeah, um, that was really the story of the match, though. That better be. Consistency. Yeah, you had some long rallies. Tell me about what was going through your head and some of the rallies you were having out there. Um, well, really, I just, uh, I focused on myself, and I just focused on hitting good topspin deep in the core so he couldn't attack and unleash his forehand. I had a lot. I had a lot inside-out forehands. Yeah, is this something you've been practicing lately, or? Um, no, I mean he just—he really just gave me a lot of opportunities too. Yeah, you guys were keeping a lot of the balls towards the middle of the court. Was this because you were forcing him to do it, or was he was just doing it? Uh, I think he was just doing it, and partly I really. I honked at that lady because I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> he was like. <laughs> and um, I wanted to uh, I wanted to <laughs> move him around a little bit. Yeah, that was me. That's a... That is, that sounds like a great game plan. Uh, we just had some drama going on in the car. The uh, driver believed that the person in front of him was the mother of the opponent that Mr. Lloyd just <laughs> faced off against, but apparently it was not, as that is a different car in front of us. But back to you, Mr. Lloyd. Um, Mr. Lloyd, <laughs> what, have you played this player before? Um... In a USTA match, or just like in a USTA match. USTA match, I played him like three or four years ago. It's been that long. Wow! And how would you uh, say he is different? Um. Well, he obviously has gotten a lot stronger, and he's older and taller, so he's improved in that category. Consistency, I say he's so pretty good anymore. I mean, he's pretty okay. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, but. <laughs> Yeah, um, I just won that fact. I just won that department today, so that was really it. Yeah, I mean, do you, do you, you like? It didn't seem you went to net a lot uh, no. at all in the match. Do you think you'll be utilizing your height more as you progress uh, throughout your career? Yeah, um, already on my serve, I've gotten a lot stronger on my serve, and the angle to the ground is a lot better for me. I've been working on my slide serve out wide on the deuce court, as well as my kick out wide on the ad side. And that's really been really beneficial to me and pulling opponents off the court and being able to open up and hit winners. Yeah, it sounds like uh, something that Verdasco actually likes to do. Mm -hmm. um, although he is a lefty, he does yeah, not always on the deuce side attack to the tee on the backhand. He actually plays a lot out wide on both sides. Sounds like something that you're doing. Slice out wide and the kick out wide. So it sounds like a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, what what other parts of your game did you did you try to practice? Were you trying to practice anything in your match today, or were you just trying to go for the victory? Um, I kind of tried to work on my backhand down the line. I hit a couple good shots there, and then if I got the opportunity, I went to net. And but I didn't really need to most of the time. So if I wanted to, I would just approach, hit a good approach shot, and come to net and finish the point. Um, I know that you played a pretty good match, but would there be anything different that you would have done in that match to get maybe an even better uh, victory over Mr. McCullough? Yeah, um, first serves, I didn't really have a very high first serve percentage in that match. Um, really, I couldn't really make many of my flat first serves. I really just did well spinning it in, using the slice serve out wide and kick serve. And... I had a couple good body serves with spin to him that he kind of struggled with, but yeah, I could probably work on my flat serve more. Yeah, uh, would you, that sounds like really something that it'd be great that the serve to improve because mm -hmm. always in a match you can improve the serve. What advice would you give for the next player that McCullough plays? Um, in this tournament? Yeah, in this tournament. I think he's done in this tournament. Actually. He's finished. Yeah. Wow. So. Well, yeah. then, we're not in this tournament, but his next, next tournament. tournament. What would you do the advice of his next opponent? Um, well, I would just say it depends on his or her game style. Make him mad. <laughs> yeah, that would work, actually. And then just 
play consistent because he has he tends to miss a lot sometimes. Well, thank you, Mr. Lloyd, for the interview. For the people that who do not know about this, but I have started a new tennis federation called the American Tennis Federation. Really? Can I join? <laughs> well, um, yeah, we have a few. We have about 20 people that have committed already. If you have a passion for tennis or... Um, or